Hello and welcome. This video is meant to help you after you set up your Access account and check your ACC email. Next, you will want to familiarize yourself with self-service, your student information portal. This video will help you navigate your self-service account. To access self-service on the ACC website, go to Quick Links and click on self-service, the top tab on the left under student. You will log into self-service using the same credentials that you use to log into your Access email account. When you log into self-service, you will see eight tabs. Student Finance, where you can make a payment after you register for courses. Financial Aid, which will show you your status, any documents needed, or any awards you've received. Tax Information, Student Planning, and Course Catalog. Course Catalog and Student Planning are the two main categories that you will use during advising and registration periods to choose plan and register for your courses, as well as find your academic advisor. The grade tab will show you your final grades at the end of each term. Graduation overview is where you will submit an application for graduation when you're nearing the end of your degree. Transcript requests, here you can view anytime you like an unofficial transcript. You can also request that a transcript be sent to your employer or another institution. So let's start by finding out who your academic advisor is. You're going to want to start in student planning. You have two tabs here. View, go to my progress where you can view courses that you've already taken if you've been with us a while and courses that you need to take next. Here, plan your degree and register for classes. Click here and you'll find four tabs, schedule, timeline, advising, petitions, and waivers. If you click on advising, where mine says advising office, yours should have a name of your academic advisor. After you receive this name, after you identify this name, you can go to ACC's main website and use the staff directory under quick links to find your advisor's direct email and office phone number to contact them. You should also watch your Access email account for any emails from your advisor inviting you to a virtual or phone advising appointment. You can go back to your eight home category links by cl clicking on this house. Here in Course Catalog, you're able to view, search, and plan courses. If you want to start with an English course for the summer, Say, you'll scroll down until you see ENG. Click that for English. The first thing you're going to want to do here is scroll down, filter results, and choose summer if that's the term you're looking for, or fall if you're looking to plan courses for fall. If you don't choose that, it's going to show you a long list of of courses available over three terms and you might accidentally choose the wrong course. So make sure you filter by term. I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for English 111. It tells me um, this course is already attempted or completed. So I'm not going to take that one. I'll scroll down. Um, here I have a course that I've already planned. I planned that by viewing available sections Finding, identifying the course that I would like to take, and then clicking Add Section to Schedule. After I add the section to my schedule, I can go back to Student Planning, Plan and Schedule, and see that this course is planned for me. Register is grayed out. When registration period opens and you've spoken with your academic advisor, this button will be active. You can click it and then your planned will turn to registered and you will know that you are actually in this course. Please be sure to talk to your academic advisor before registering for courses if you are unsure of what you need to take. One more thing that I'll point out When you're choosing courses, I'm going to choose art and let's look at 111. Again, I need to check term. You'll have to check the term every time you go back to the course catalog. 
check sections. I'm going to add to schedule. And here's what I wanted to point out. It's going to show you the prerequisites that need to be taken before each course. You can check this in your progress and also in your timeline tabs to ensure that you have the correct prerequisites for the courses that you choose. I'll add this to schedule. I'll go back to student planning. And it will show because this is a seated class. The first one I planned was online, so it only showed here in my list. But because this one has a seated portion, it shows up in my calendar. And you can see that it's a yellowish color because it's planned. When it's fully registered, everything will turn green, so you will know that you are enrolled. You can also check that up here on the right. It says planned six credits, enrolled zero, waitlisted zero. If a course is full, you will be able to waitlist yourself for that course and wait to see if someone else drops or decides not to take it, and then you will receive an email that you can respond to for a seat in the class. Back to home. That's a brief overview of your self-service account. I hope it was helpful.